What's up everyone and thank you for stopping by the channel. Today's project is this Power Boss power washer and the problem is that it won't start. Let's take a good look at it, find out what's wrong with it and hopefully we can fix it. Now in this video we try and repair this power washer, however it may not be the exact repair that you need to make to yours. We'll explore other options later in the video. So the history I have for this power washer is that it had a recoil issue after being transported to a new location. Now since it was having problems it was put away for a while until today. To diagnose this starting problem I'm going to begin with the basics. Now I know there's gas in the tank but I also want to check to make sure there's oil in the engine. Just in case I do get this engine started I don't want to damage it. So we do have oil in it so let's prime the carburetor and try starting it. Now it didn't even try and start so I want to check to make sure that we have spark at the engine. The easiest way to do that is to use a spark checker. Now you can get these online for a few dollars or at your local automotive store. Just install it in line with the spark plug, pull the rope and watch for an orange glow in the tester. Now it just confirmed that the engine does have spark. But if yours doesn't, try replacing the spark plug, otherwise you might have a problem with the ignition module. Now since this carburetor has a primer, I need to check that it's actually putting gas into the engine. After removing the air filter, press it a few times and look for a stream of gas to shoot into the engine, like this one's doing. Also, make sure that the air filter is clean where these circular holes are. These have a tendency to get covered with dirt, and if yours is dirty, you can clean it with soap and water or just replace it. The next thing I want to do is to check the gas in the tank. Now this style of tank makes examining the gas really tough so the easiest thing to do is to siphon it out into a jar. Just put a hose in the tank and find a bottle you can squeeze to create a vacuum in the hose. Once the gas flows below the gas level in the tank, it will siphon out. Now there wasn't much gas in the tank but it's enough for me to see that there's no water in the gas but it is the wrong color and it smells a bit stale. Now this is more than likely the reason why it won't start. I'll put some fresh gas in the tank and try starting it and if it doesn't start then I'll need to inspect the diaphragm in the carburetor. Another reason why your power washer won't start is the pumping diaphragm in this style of carburetor isn't working properly. Now to test that fill the tank all the way to the top and see if it starts. After a few minutes the fuel level will drop and then the engine will stop. And if you fill it back up to the top and it starts again then you know the diaphragm is the problem and the fix is of course to replace the diaphragm. So my question is do you have a power washer and how often do you use it? Now I use mine when I have to clean some concrete or clean the underside of a mower deck that has a lot of grass buildup on it. You know my answer but I'm more curious about yours. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time here. Please feel free to ask any questions and I hope to see you in my next video.